feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back. President Trump saying he is feeling better and thinks he will be back soon. Good evening, I'm Maggie Newland. The White House doctor also issuing a statement tonight saying President Trump is not yet out of the woods. As Natalie Brand reports, the president's medical team is cautiously optimistic. Supporters of President Trump gathered outside Walter Reed, where the president prepared to spend a second night receiving treatment for the coronavirus. From inside the hospital's presidential suite, President Trump tweeted a video message about his health. Uh, I came here, wasn't feeling so well. I feel much better now. We're working hard to get me all the way back. You don't know over the next period of a few days, I guess that's the real test. A source familiar with the president's health told reporters Saturday vitals over the last 24 hours were very concerning and the next 48 hours will be critical in terms of his care, adding, quote, we're still not on a clear path to a full recovery. CBS News has also confirmed the president was administered supplemental oxygen at the White House Friday before he was flown to Walter Reed in the evening. It's not clear if the president was having trouble breathing at that time. And new questions are now emerging about the timeline surrounding the president's diagnosis. Just 72 hours into the diagnosis now. In a White House statement issued shortly after, White House physician Dr. Sean Conley said he incorrectly used the term 72 hours and should have said day three, adding that the president tested positive Thursday night. It's still unclear exactly when the president began displaying symptoms, and Dr. Conley declined to answer a question about when President Trump last tested negative for the virus. I'm not going to get into all the testing going back, um, but but he and all the staff routine, uh, routinely uh, are tested. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie announced Saturday that he has COVID-19. He tweeted that he has checked himself into a hospital as a precaution and says he is feeling good with only mild symptoms. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Bethesda, Maryland. CBS 17 is your local election headquarters and with elections just a month away, what happened next in the presidential race. Vice President Mike Pence is taking the lead on campaigning while President Trump remains in isolation. Analysts and experts say it will be interesting to watch polling over the next few days. With the health of the president in question now, this is really kind of reshaping how the race is. I'm not sure it will do that much impact in terms of changing people's minds, but I think people will kind of step back from the heat of the campaign and really concentrate on the health of the president. More than 320,000 people have already submitted their ballots in North Carolina. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden's campaign has pulled down all negative attack ads as the president recovers.